Right, so we are back with another review of the new DJI Mini 3 firmware update. And today it's dark outside, which can only mean that we're gonna have a look at the low light capabilities and its noise reduction feature, which you can now adjust from minus two to plus one. So the Mini 3 Pro is already a good low light machine. It's got a one over 1.3 inch sensor, an aperture of 1.7, it does take good low light pictures, but noise reduction is always going to be a feature that can help you along. So now that we can adjust that, let's have a look and see what those different levels can give us. And as before with my last video, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide what you feel is the best look. So please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to reading those. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a series of footage and I will leave them at the end. I'm going to leave timestamps if you want to skip all this stuff and go right to the good stuff at the end. All right, see you soon. Okay, so I'm going to take this uh, in pro mode uh, at a frame rate of 1 over 30. Obviously, in these conditions, um, to follow the 180 rule is just not going to be possible because it'll be too dark. Um, I will also do it at ISO 1600 as well as ISO 3200. Normally, people find ISO 32, anything more than 1600 is a bit too grainy, but it'll be interesting to see how, with these adjustable settings, what we can get and what the results look like. So... Yeah, 1 over 30, Pro Modes, um, ISO 1600, and um, white balance set to manual as well, as before. So, our first test is going to be at noise reduction of minus 2. Let's go a bit higher on this one. out there. Okay, so this is my first test. Okay, with that first one done, I'm now going to back to my starting position and do the whole thing over and over at different uh, noise reduction levels as well as the, um, the uh, ISO levels. So I'm going to speed this bit up to save you the boredom and then yeah we'll see what we get at the end Okay, so unlike the last video where all my footage was moving footage, I think on this one it'd be quite good to, to have some stationary footage as well. So I'm just going to reset everything back down to um, the starting point, minus two. And I'm just going to retake the same types of footage. So ISO 1600 at minus two, zero, and one, as well as my signal there okay so I can control it but I can't change my eye so <laughs> come on let's try this again okay so ISO 1600 and ISO 3200 at minus two zero and plus one um, noise reductions and again hopefully that'll give us a bit more of a, a meaningful comparison so let's do these and again I'll just speed this bit up for everyone Right, now that's been done, I am going to let you look at the footage, see what you think, 
State your thoughts in the comments below. I look forward to reading those. And as always, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.